Yes, this will do. Here I go. Did it work? What? Ah, ah. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. But they died by your hand. You sacrificed them to summon Titan. that there were a cure for the victims of the Tempered. Gabu! What are you doing here? Patriarch! Please listen to me! Hear! Heed! Listen! summoning is false. He only hurts us and those we love. For a long time, his voice filled my mind. He told me to do terrible things. Awful, unspeakable, terrible things. But I didn't give in to it. And you mustn't either. There's been too much pain already. So please, end the suffering. Done. We share this child's desire, Patriarch. An end to summoning, for it spells naught but misery for both our peoples. For many long years, man and kobold have feuded over territory pillaging and perishing for the earth beneath our feet. It may be said that we fought to survive, but what we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. I would see us set aside the past and work together for peace. It was wrong of me to hurt my own in the name of the Great Father. Sinful, evil, wrong. But that doesn't mean there can be peace between us. Men cannot be trusted. The bounty of the land was to be ours, and yours the bounty of the sea. But you broke the pact. Violated, breached, broke. Unready as we were, what 
choice had we but to call upon the divine to rid ourselves of your tyranny? None, and I do not blame you for it. In violation of the spirit, if not the letter, of the pact, we took your lands for our own. The fault lies wholly with us. On behalf of all Lamincens, I offer you my humblest apology. I pray you'll find it in your heart to accept it. Yet I know an apology alone will not serve to make things right. So, we will revise the pact to leave no room for doubt, and any who violate it shall face justice swift and certain. No, we won't be fooled. Not again. Please, hear me to the end. Fleeting though it was, there was a time when man and kobold abided together in harmony, in cooperation. In those days, your people shared the secrets of smelting. Knowledge which allowed Limsa Liminsa to thrive. Much of what we have, we owe to the Kobolds. And so, for the good of all who dwell on this isle, I wish to make you an offer. We will bear your people's wares to every corner of the world and trade them in your stead. In return, we will bring you the bounty, not only of the sea, but lands both near and far. Whatever you desire, the Navigator as my witness, you shall have it. There will be no more man and beastmen. Just the crew of the great ship that is Vilbrand. And together, we will share in the wealth of the world. If you'll only accept our hand in friendship. We want to believe you. We truly do. But we believed you before and you betrayed us. Fooled, deceived, betrayed us. There are bad men, it's true. But there are also good ones. And the ones before you are the best of them. They were always kind to me. Caring, nice, kind, and I trust them with my life. Before I became Admiral, I was a pirate. I stole, I fought, I stained the sea red with blood. Such is my past, and I dare not forget it, however much I might want to. That is death penalty. The pistol I used to pass judgment on my own sire when he fell thrall to Leviathan and betrayed his comrades. It's loaded. If you were to point it at my head and pull the trigger, I would most assuredly die. Though it isn't much, my life is the single most valuable thing I possess. If it will suffice to atone for past wrongs, take it. A single bullet to annul the old pact and my blood to write it anew. What comes after, I entrust to this man, my second in command. I know that he will do his utmost for the happiness of all who call Vilbrand home.
I do not trust you. Not yet. But Gabu does. And I will trust him. We want you to know that we respect your faith. There's nothing wrong with giving thanks to the land which sustains you. But summoning is different. Should you hear of anyone who would attempt it, we ask that you appeal to their better judgment. Or failing that, seek our aid. We're always ready to help. Many and more of my brethren are yet in thrall to the Great Father, just as I was. If you could free them too, I would be grateful. Appreciative, thankful, grateful. It is we who should be grateful, Patriarch. I thank you for affording us this chance. <laughs> 